Tipping the scales just under 11,000 pounds. The 294 or 295, depending on which fridge we're looking at, Montana here at Haylet RV of Coldwater, Michigan, is a couple things. It is, first of all, the smallest of the entire Montana family. Secondly, uh, it is ideal for traveling. Because of that shorter length and its lighter weight, uh, like there are cougars that weigh far more than this. Um, this is perfect for jet setting, getting up, going. If you're looking to do a lot of traveling with your RV, but you want the peace of mind of a full-time RV warranty and the convenience of a 3,000 pound rear towing hitch recently added, congratulations, you found your winner. Something Montana has gotten very good about is enhancing your ability to have some like travel necessity access. You see, you can fully access that refrigerator because they changed the island. They made part of it actually flip up. And we can get over here to these chairs. Now, of course, your bedroom and your bathroom are travel accessible, but if you need to stop, grab a bite to eat, sit down for a minute, wash your hands. You can do that here. And what's really awesome here is that even though this is the smallest of the Montanas, it comes in about 34 feet, pretty much on the nose, the living area is not any smaller. Actually, what they did, it was really intelligent, and I'll, I'll touch on it up in the uh, upper deck. They just kind of rearranged the upper deck and managed to squeeze an extra foot out of this thing. Um, up top here, we've got a couple things. Some are obvious, some are not. You can see that rain censoring, like Max Air style vent fan up there, complete with wall control switch right next to where I'm standing currently. Love all the accent lights going on. Like, there's accent lights under the counters and the roof fix or ceiling fixtures all over the place. They look great. Uh, the uh, ceiling fan there for some extra airflow, and that's a whisper ducted air system. This has two 15,000 BTU air units for a 30,000 uh, BTU total system, meaning it'll it'll keep you cool. Um, also, though, that main air unit up there has a 16,500 BTU heat pump built into it, which in conjunction with the 5,120 BTU uh, electric space heating fireplace in that no neck wrecker entertainment center right there, gives this thing an impressive amount of propane free heating. So unless it's gonna get crazy arctic cold, you're gonna be good, plus you always have those 12 volt tank heaters to help supplement as well. Obviously that TV can crank right out for easy viewing. All of the windows open for airflow, so uh, you can get some awesome sights, awesome lights, but this one is still very guest friendly. And I call it that for a few reasons. First of all, you have these just straight blackout shades. It's still daytime, but <laughs> no sun's getting through here. And we'll talk a little bit more about that in just a second. The lighting package in here, plus that new lighter, what they're calling modern maple uh, interior decor, really lightens and brightens it up. Now that is a, a wider height of bed than you might find in something similar like a Cougar floor plan. Um, not that there's anything wrong with the Cougar one, just this is bigger but they still gave it side stands with both household, <laughs> that'll go in the highlight reel, household <laughs> and USB plugs on both sides of those windows. Now, I said we'd talk about those blackout shades in a second. I would like to draw your attention to the bottom of the blackout shade next to that theater seat or next to that sofa right now. And I ask you to take note of those areas because this allows you to clearly see how far past those very large viewing and breeze windows, those roll down nightshades go. Now, you can also see in that same area over here on the power theater recliner, how the center armrest can be removed. So if you want it to be more of a love seat and less of a cinema theater seat, you can. Some people like to snuggle up. Some people may be a little bit bigger on the hips. People like me may be a little bit bigger on the midsection. I don't know. Different people, different strokes, different folks. Six and a half foot tall slides means if you stand up uh, next to that table, you're not going to crack and bonk your head on anything. And I normally wait to do this, but why wait? Let's do it right now while we're standing here. Let's take a good look at this island. So first of all, the counters throughout any Montana are solid surface. That's a high-rise uh, stainless faucet with a pull-out sprayer. And they give you a giant farm sink and a traditional size sink for like prep space. So um, you can kind of customize it to your wants and needs. Accent lighting below uh, the countertops here just help kind of brighten it up a bit. And you can see how they are giving us a dedicated wastebasket space with plenty of room down there, whether it's big pots and pans or uh, just extra generic storage, you got it. Plywood drawers down to the floor right there for the campsite cook. 
But that is just uh, like a sneak preview for the main event that we're about to see. Now, if my camera work gets a little worse than normal, it's because I'm literally walking goofy footed over here. That pantry door didn't want to keep itself open because the RV's not level currently. So I just held it open with my shoe. <laughs> Um, I, it should go without saying that the shoe is not included with the sale of this RV. I do need them to be a matching pair. But, you've got a nice little coffee bar here, extra drawer space, and a handy little charging pocket right above that coffee bar. You know, this is, this is dynamite storage space considering the size of this kitchen. Now, I've, I've explained several times, this is a, an ideal traveler's Montana, which is why I think that gas electric fridge, the 294, in my view, personally, is superior to the 295 because you will get more statistically better reliability out of that uh, gas electric fridge. Plus, God forbid you're at a park, you lose power, electric fridge is gonna with an inverter is just gonna eat those batteries alive. Whereas this one, you're gonna be all right. Now, over in that coffee bar, there's easy reach outlets. On uh, below those resident or that residential size microwave, you see. A pair of household outlets and I love how there's prep space on both sides uh, of the stove not just one or the other and another easy reach outlet there they're very very good at that at both Cougar and Montana now everything below that is storage including a full drawer below the oven and over here above the fireplace is a little thing I call pantry tainment storage there's storage behind that center beam where the TV is mounted. So, I mean, if you wanted to, you could add shelves, you could do all kinds of stuff. Now, you could use that for, you know, DVDs if you still camp with those or anything like that. But the fact is, there's just, there, there's nothing wasted here. Every ounce of this opens up into big functional cabinet space. Now, as we move on from there, <laughs> I'm just going to move on without my shoe, I guess. Uh, we pass our central vacuum system over here. Um, you also uh, have your centralized control panel hidden away very nicely. And I don't know what it is. Maybe it's just the change in the woodwork. It's like, it seems very seamless. A couple cool things up here. I've mentioned them a few times, and I'll mention it a few more because they're awesome. 12 volt tank heaters and your controller for that is those red switches right there and the ceiling fan we've seen is not a residential ceiling fan by that I mean it does not require 110 uh, household power it is 12 volt operated and how nice is it that Montana is still giving us uh, just a physical switch panel I'm a tech guy I like Bluetooth stuff and apps and etc but there are some times I just want to come over here and go lights off and this gives me that capacity now, most Montanas have the exact same bathroom. There are some exceptions, but this is one of those. This is really the only Montana that has this bathroom. And the idea behind it is, is pretty ingenious, actually. Most Montanas have these, like, giant 50-inch showers. Well, they said, you know, not everybody needs a shower fit for two. Maybe they're past that point in their lives. I don't know, but the fact is... Some people just need a shower to get themselves clean, and then they need some storage. And that is exactly what you have here. This one actually has an extended upper deck slide. The bed is part of the slide. You can see that creeping on the right-hand side of the uh, image uh, frame there. But the slide continues into the bathroom, more of like what you find in the quote-unquote half-ton fifth-wheel segment, although I've talked about how I don't like the word half-tons and fifth-wheels anyway. The fact is, they added all this extra storage space here. Now, I told you how when we got to the upper deck, I would tell you how they shaved a foot off this thing. This is how they did it. The uh, front closet in most fifth wheels is designed to be able to hold a washer and dryer. Well, if you don't need all that depth, you can seriously just chop a whole foot right off the nose of this thing. So they put the washer dryer prep over here in the slide. Most people, and I mean, and I mean like 98% of people, never use that washer dryer prep anyway. So it, it, it's a huge push pull win for the vast majority of potential RV owners. Now you can see I had waste basket space, good drawer space there. That is a sealed edge press membrane countertop right there. As we come up to this nice vanity here with that overhead lighting that shows you every little imperfection on your skin, so you can really feel self conscious before you leave. Now, uh, Kiso is very good about this. They have like three inch fully studded doorways. I mean, these things are always holding square. And I think that's one of the reasons we just don't have structural issues with, uh, you know, a lot of our Keystone stuff. They're, it's more than just a solid outside shell. They have a lot of interior skeleton work too. 
Now the bedroom here is very different from most Montanas. Of course, we still have that second air conditioner. We still like to build these with the optional king bed upgrade. I don't know of any dealer of a Montana that doesn't. But the whole front end here is very, very different. It should be noted just past the window on our right, there are uh, your TV hookups would be located. You can see those plugs up there on the ceiling. And of course, you still have those roll down nightshades. But the front windshield up here, it lets in a whole bunch of light and it makes this room look and feel large, even though it's actually a smaller bedroom in terms of square foot of space for most Montanas. The difference is your floor space isn't reduced. It's just the uh, the total square footage inside of the cabinets because part of our cabinetry is again over there in the bedroom. The good news though, you still have a ton of storage space. Because that uh, sliding closet in the bathroom, that does have hanging storage, and you have dual uh, split hanging storage on either side of this. But something I thought, when, when this floor plan first debuted uh, previously, like earlier this year at the time of this filming anyway, we jumped right on at Halet RV, and it had that sort of instant classic feel. We knew that it was going to be a winner, and it took right off. It did not prove us wrong. But one of the things that struck me when I saw this the first time was how this could, sort of, be a little bit of like an office desk space. And uh, you know, with those those uh, household and USB plugs up there and these drawers, I mean, it had either a dresser or like a desk sort of feel. I think this could work very well for the work camping type of people. Now again, you do have your TV hookups uh, over there between the two windows effectively, the hookups on the ceiling and the wall does have a galvanized steel backer laminated into it. So if you want to mount a TV, you can. And this is another reason why I kind of call that like uh, potentially a front desk because you still have dresser space here. They give you like two of everything, two closets, two dressers, two everything. One of the most obvious things outside here, because very little exterior has changed. It was mostly just an interior exterior facelift anyway, like brand new look, same great taste. But they brightened and lightened up the skin package and the roof membrane, which we'll see later to uh, give this thing a, a, a more comfortable hot camp experience. Now, Montana's never had issues with their uh, dual 15,000 BTU central air units uh, keeping up in hot weather, but uh, this will give the air units more of a break. So the idea there being more longevity, less wear and tear on your mechanical systems. Uh, we do, of course, have auto leveling. It has a shock dampening pin box and suspension road armor one, two punch which makes this just exceptionally smooth and comfortable as far as fifth wheel towing goes compared to what it could be without those objects. Obviously, you see that automotive windshield up front. Um, we also have fully walkable slide boxes, which is something I haven't talked about uh, a lot on Montana's, but you will find them here. Uh, those sidewall cuts, basically, where the windows, where the slides go, they're all CNC routed. All Montana's uh, and impacts and fusions, like you see the uh, an impact back there, the like premium Keystone lines have machine precision uh, construction in their sidewalls. They're not hand routed, so they're precise within one one thousandth of an inch. Montana's are and have been hot cold camp rated since 2005 and counting, which is one of a number of reasons. They are the single most popular fifth wheel for full time RVers and have been for a long, long while. Little touches like this certainly don't hurt. Separate little sewer hose caddy so your freshwater stuff doesn't get contaminated. And not only is this hot cold camp rated, but if it's gonna get crazy, crazy cold or you want protection while traveling, you do also have 12 volt tank heaters down here for like just direct heat application. Not just insulated, not just forced air heated, but directly heating your holding tanks. Now when our little adventure here first kicked off, I mentioned how they just updated this to include a full towing hitch. It's no longer just an accessory hitch on the back. It is now a full towing hitch, complete with uh, towing hooks and a four-way wiring harness. This is rated for 3,000 pounds with a 300 pound vertical uh, weight limit, basically. Now, in terms of towing hitches on uh, fifth wheel RVs, those are pretty standard specs. But the thing is, towing hitches on RVs are not pretty standard. They are a, still a rather uncommon sort of uh, exceptional thing that I always want to draw attention to whenever I have the opportunity. Back over here on the campsite of the RV, another mention of those loaded campsite windows. Now we have dual power awnings here. And what's neat is built right onto the awning arms, they each have this little 
uh, Dometic power channel and it comes with a couple uh, little accessories that you can plug into those but they're capable of running different 12 volt things like lights and fans very handy over here on the campsite of your RV and it gives you good control over where either like that airflow from the fan goes or the uh, the light from the light goes you don't want to cheese off the next door neighbor another thing on these Montanas even here at the high country this is the smallest Montana and yet it still has a residential height entry door that's also 30 inches wide they're still using the uh, zero G, like easy lift, easy lower, stable step system so it doesn't fall down and crack you on the head. We have outside hookups here uh, for your TV in the pass-through compartment. And although this is a smaller uh, upper deck, it still has a quite large pass-through. Now, neat little note on this baggage door right here. It has double slam latches and double magnet catches. That's pretty obvious. What you might not catch immediately, though, is that it still has the uh, pre-prep for gas struts. If you live in a really windy zone, you're probably going to want to add those gas struts because, so that wind theoretically could slip behind this door and pull it down. Although, oh my God, that is, that is, whoa, that is no joke. Now, you see the little solar sticker. We're about to see some solar prep on the roof, but all the wiring for your charge controller would actually be located behind this panel right here. And that is your solar prep port up here on the roof. Montana, as always, doing a little more. They put a little enclosure on that so that if you're not looking to use the solar prep plug, water just can't get into it and rot it out. They're always, they're always ahead of the game in Montana. Now they've gone back to a polar white roof, uh, kind of like they went to a lighter skin color to drastically reduce the amount of heat this RV is going to generate. Now Montana has not been having hot area temperature problems, you know, Texas, Arizona, Florida, etc., California. But now they're definitely not going to. Between their uh, hot, cold camp package, things like these attic roof vents, all the uh, radiant barrier stuff through the roof, the 30,000 BTU air system, which is an update uh, from previous generations. This used to have a 13.5 bedroom AC if option from the factory. Now you're just looking at twin 15,000 air units. So this thing has a ton of cooling power. And that's, that's why we get up here. That's why we go to that extra length to show you this stuff, guys. You know, not everyone takes that kind of time and effort. Not everybody takes the risk of climbing up here on an RV roof to show you around, but we do. Imagine what we'll do if you actually give us a chance to meet you. Imagine what we'd do in that case. Because we only do everything if you give us the opportunity, except for hidden dealer fees. We don't do those, but we do hitching, pieces, parts, trades, finance, truck and trailer package deals, RV delivery, and everything in between. So take care, stay safe, have fun, and happy camping, everyone.